What's up insiders? In this video, I'm gonna present to you 2022 marketing guide. Every year I do one of these videos when I go over all the options we have to advertise our construction businesses. This will work for any construction business, not only roofing, but painting, flooring, remodeling in general, wherever the services, it doesn't really matter. What I'm gonna show you is how you can get your phone to ring. How can you find jobs? One of the most common questions I see online all the time where to get leads you know where to advertise does home advisor work does angels list work should i pay google should i pay facebook i'm gonna show you because it drives me absolutely crazy when business owners put their trust in this marketers and marketers will always take your money and i want to start this video with understand this this is the most important part of the puzzle you have to take your marketing in your hands nobody knows your business better than you do and you need to learn consumer behavior because our world is changing super super fast i'm going to show you what i would do if i would start a construction company today i've had flooring business before i had a roofing business before i sold both of those businesses and today this is what i do i help my students in roofing school to understand how they can make their phone ring i have nothing to sell you i want to teach you it's absolutely free it's part one of two parts videos second one going to be a little bit deeper but let's start so in 2022 you have three options just like in 2021 i guess you have inbound outbound and networking so inbound is where people call you. What can you, where can you be for people to call you direct? It's my favorite categories in my um, roofing business times. We would get 1500 leads a year and they were all inbound or like 95% of them were inbound leads. I love this category. I love understand consumer behavior where people are searching for my services. Even right now, even with the roofing insights and my you know, uh, businesses today, I'm trying to understand where the roofers are, where the homeowners, how can I connect them? You have to study consumer behavior. Second one, outbound is where you go after the customers. It's your cold call, it's your door knock and stuff like that. I'll give you options there. And the last one is networking. Who can you network and how can you network with people to give you jobs? It's not just my opinion. This is not a theory. This is real life examples. I've traveled to over 100 companies last year. Some of those companies made way over 30, 40 million dollars a year. So I'll give you a lot of examples. Uh, in each category, who is doing what and what really works. And you have to come up with your own marketing plan for 2022. So the first one, actually, I didn't forget it, but I didn't want to put it uh, all the way at the bottom. And this is does not go in order. This is not like higher number is better. I just list them here. I did it a little bit uh, different this year, but zero there, it's Google Guarantee. Google Guarantee by far is absolute winner because Google is over 90% of online search. So if people are searching something on Google, the top Google Guarantee page, that's where you wanna be. You know, if you look at a Google, it's 90% of the search. Google Guarantee will stand out for 25% of the search. You don't need the marketer to set it up for you. You can do it yourself as a business owner. You just have to be responsive because if you qualify to offer Google Guarantee and Google will start calling you. The way it works, it's not your typical Google ads. You're paying for leads after people literally called you. The problem with it is if they're calling you and you're not responsive, Google will also punish you and they're gonna stop promoting you because Google wants to make money. They wanna, they're in business to provide the best search result for the inquiry. So if people come to Google, that's absolute winner right now, but they will also punish contractor who is not responsive. So, and pretty much for all the categories, responsiveness is the keys. Most people don't have lead generation problem, they have receptionist problem. They, their phone rings, their emails coming in, but they're not replying fast enough and they're losing a lot of business, even pissing people off. Next one is credibility listings. That's your BBB, our company directory would be in that category. That's your license. People will Google your company and they will make sure that your license is listed on Department of Labor, whoever holds the license, especially if you're in states like Florida or Minnesota where it's governed, where the rules are pretty strict. Obviously, if you're 
somewhere else in Midwest, if you're like in Texas or it's not regulated, still big plus to have a listing, you will actually get some jobs from it. But first thing first, you wanna make sure if people Google your name, you have those credibility listings. If not, you will drop the calls. You have to have a killer landing page. Landing page does not have to be fancy. And I'm talking about if you're a startup company today and someone's pitching you in a 25 page website for $15,000, you don't need that. I built million dollar roofing business with a website that I did myself. You can build one page landing page and make sure it's just one place where you plug it into all your social, everything else you do, all your listings is just pretty much like an online business card. It has to be simple. Your service have to be in it, your cell number, your phone number, your submission form. Like if they have a request, if they can contact you without landing page, people don't look at you as a professional provider. Next one is uh, number three, social media and video. Video is huge. That's why we invest in video as much as we do. We work with over 30 companies. We create videos for them. And videos by far is the highest category in the marketing. If you study anything about video and video consumption, you will know that people per day spend about 100 minutes watching videos. When we scroll, we stop and we watch and we watch. We read less, we don't look as much at pictures, we like videos. So if your brand, if you're if you don't make professional videos about your service, why do you think they would stop? If you don't have anything to offer, you're missing out because marketing is going that way. 95% of all online content that we watch is gonna be videos. It's already almost there. So we can see more and social media in general is a category where we spend all our time, all our attention. You can argue all you want that I'm not getting jobs on Facebook. Well, you're not getting intention on Facebook because you're not putting anything in front of people. It's a fact that we're all addicted to social media. It's a fact that we're all scrolling. It's a fact that we're all watching videos. You're watching me right now. I'm making this video because I know there's a search. I know there are roofers and contractors who will be looking for keywords like how to get leads. And I'm making video and you're watching it. So it is working but you have to put it in front of people. People in your town are looking for your services. Roofs are leaking. People do need walls painted. They do need floors. They need to be entertained, educated, and they're constantly scrolling for stuff like that. Will you show up in that search? It's up to you. I was a little bit shocked when I was in Monarch Roofing last year and I asked them, what's your number one lead generation uh, source and uh, they told me it was social media and Monarch Roofing actually really good at social media. So you can absolutely create amazing social media brand and get a lot of leads from it. But you have to be smart. You have to be creative. If you need my help, I would love to help you. And again, I'm not making this video to sell. I'm making this video as a proof of concept that this works. Next one is all online free listings. You know, we can debate if Yelp works or not, if Thumbtack works or not. All these online listings, you know, a lot of them are BS listings, uh, like your yellow page and stuff. But when people are Googling your name and they see three pages of results, it gives you credibility. And how long does it take? Five minutes per listing? Literally within 10, 15 minutes, you can create three, four free listings. Like if you have pictures, phone number, everything is ready to go. It's plug and play. Just make sure your name is all over the internet for free. Next one here is niche affiliation. I love this one. Pick a product, pick a niche and dominate it. Like in the roofing industry, you can do something like RoofMax, sponsor of our channel, you know, uh, rejuvenation system, amazing company. RoofMax is a big brand. So if anybody searching for roof cleaning or, um, it, roof repairs, RoofMax will show up. You don't have a brand, but RoofMax does. Or F-Wave or Brava Metal Roofing. Like when people searching for something specific, like metal roofing manufacturer, and let's say they go to Brava. Brava is one of the metal brands. It could be any other brand. It could be F-Wave shingles. But when people searching for specific niche product, rubber shingles like F-Wave or a metal shingles like Brava. They're gonna go to their website. If they sold on the product, what do you think is gonna be next step? 
they can ask for installer. I recently was in Austin, Texas, and I talked to uh, one of the local Austin, Texas contractors who've sold over 10 F-Wave shingles. He is truly number one F-Wave dealer in Austin, Texas today. So you can become niche expert in any metal uh, manufacturers like if you're a siding installer you can uh, af associate with yourself with companies like James Hardy or LP smart side and you can become true expert and get those leads from them because those big manufacturers they do have jobs Velux would be another great example if you're a Velux installer Velux will give you jobs. So affiliation programs with manufacturers actually become a good lead generation campaigns for contractors who don't have solid brands. I would rather partner with one, two brands and do everything to ask than try to offer all the brands. Because if you are number one F-Wave or uh, Roofmax dealer or Bravo dealer, a brand does not matter. Leaf solution, gutter cover, but it gives you credibility and that brand will trust you and it will help you with leads and support your business as well. Next one in an inbound is personal brand. What people don't understand in the business world that your personal brand is way more powerful than your business brand. Here's how it works. You start a business and you build your personality. You tell people, you tell your friends, this is what I'm gonna do. Like I'm a painter now, I have a painting shop, I have a, I'm a roofing contractor or whatever. So you made a statement and then you build a business page. Unfortunately, in case of Facebook and Instagram, Facebook kind of killed business pages. Why did they do it? Because they wanna get paid from it, but they did not kill personal category. They need people to create uh, personal brands for people to follow because that's where we argue that's where we talk that's where drama comes in right so like I would argue that Elon Musk as a brand is way bigger than Tesla I would argue that Dmitry Lipinski is bigger brand than Roofing Insights because people follow Roofing Insights but they follow me first so when you build personal brand you will get leads you will get business and you get more engagement like today I have I think 12,000 followers on the Roofing Insights page and I have 5,000 friends on the personal brand. But with that, if I publish business content, like if I ask for business on a personal page, I will get 10x results than if I would have asked on a business page. And it's fair to my roofing business, it's fair to Roofing Insights, it's fair to directory, it's fair to any page just because we are cold as a consumer behavior will tell you if you study it we're cold to the brands we don't like to be sold we don't like infomercials but we follow people so if you build amazing personal brand like martin pettigrew is as powerful as monarch roofing and when martin pettigrew does video content and shares on his personal pages i would argue it's more powerful than monarch roofing so you want to build business page but you also want to build solid personal brand page and your phone will ring there a lot and lastly this category is branding assets like yard sites wraps door uh, door hangers and all of that stuff that surrounds your job you can literally double your sales just by that category alone drives me absolutely crazy when i see people are not doing it like catch all system would also be there you know in the roofing uh, world we have casual system it's pretty much your billboard around your house when I drive through town and I see workers on the roof on the siding and I don't see yard sign I'm like are you kidding me like you don't like business because you're gonna be there for a day or two your neighbors can come in you can get so many jobs from here literally you will double your business and so many they're complaining about leads they're complaining they don't have enough calls but yet they don't do the basics i was recently re listening to a podcast about billionaires and one of the things i think it was alex harmoja who said it he said that they always do the basics like they don't skip it for me this is the basics like i don't care how successful i am i will never stop giving away business cards 
putting my yard signs on all of my jobs, introducing me to the neighbors, because this is basic activity that will always give you more jobs. You're never too big to fail. And just because you got that one job does not mean that neighbors did not need the service. And yet so many roofers, they don't want to wrap their vehicle. They want to drive typical white, van that nobody cares about you just don't have a presence so this definitely makes you phone ring way more than you think it is really quick let's go through outbound so outbound is obviously it's bni and some of it with the network and will go together so you have bni groups i know quite a few roofers who are absolutely killing it through BNI groups. BNI are powerful. It's a small group, find a new town, do research, not gonna spend too much time on it, but it does work. I found quite a few companies that do half of their business through BNI groups. Uh, associations, you can wine and dine association, do service calls for them. It's hard to get in, but once you are in association, they will give you a lot of work on a regular basis. Uh, you can have big accounts like Lowe's, Home Depot. Home Depot don't have it anymore, but it's a great place to start. Again, this is campaign. This works all together. For example, if you have, let's say you're an installer for Lowe's. Well, and if you're doing everything here, number eight, all of a sudden you're, you're get, for every job that Lowe's gives you, you can get one job that you go you find yourself because you're smart and you know how to make your phone ring you can also do obviously door knocking door knocking is huge tons of people are killing it i'm not a fan of door knocking it's too hard for me uh it's not as predictable but it's a great start and if you're hungry and you're a motivated person you can definitely make millions and generate tons of leads with door knocking Incentive referrals, obviously you can pay people to talk about you a couple hundred bucks up to $500. If you know your acquisition cost, you can find realtors, you can find college kids, pay them to bring you jobs. It really works if you have good incentive program. Uh, home shows, I'm a big fan of home shows, but you have to do them right. You can be very boring at a home show and you can be a rock star. If you really spend time and energy to come up with a good show at a home show, um, you can get tons of leads. I've seen companies here in Minneapolis doing 150 leads per show and they would do five, six shows per year. Obviously with the COVID-19 rules changed a little bit, but home shows are a great place to be in front of the consumer. But you cannot use marketing gimmicks. I don't recommend uh, giving away like drones and stuff because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a lot of fake leads or stupid leads that you know people have no business to uh, participate. They don't have a need for your service. You can get 500 business cards for giveaway, but then you might only get one job. Very frustrating, don't recommend it. Have a real conversations about real products. What works really good at home shows is actually your niche. So if you're like number one F-Wave installer or RoofMax dealer or, um, you know, Bravo, all the brands I mentioned earlier, now you can bring that brand here and have that like wow effect on people. And that's what really works on home shows. And lastly, obviously we have Facebook ads, Google ads, and flyers. You can always spend unlimited amount of money uh, if you have them on Google ads, Facebook ads, and just uh, send junk mails about your offers and services. Uh, you need to understand that the return on investment here, it really depends on how good you are, how good your offer is, time of the year. There's so many variables here that many fail and never do it again. So just for example, right now, if I do ads in Minneapolis, Facebook ads for roofing jobs, I'll spend a million dollars a month and I'll have maybe 10 leads. But in the summertime, June, July, I might spend $10,000 and have 100. So it's supply and demand and you need to understand how it really works. I recommend every business owner to study what Facebook ads and Google ads is today, what it is about, because it's expensive. You will literally pay $50, $60 per click in most cases, and hopefully you have good receptions to answer and capture those calls. And lastly, your networking. Networking is pretty big. If you're a roofer, you can work with adjusters. Like a lot of adjusters can give you jobs. Like obviously a lot of people have done it, it's you know kind of proving systems i know so many roofers who literally leave off adjusters realtors another great resource for leads 
uh, you can work for builders, BNI groups also here and MRP programs. We recently did podcast and manage repair programs by insurance companies. So it's a program that you join just to get in neighborhoods um, to network with people with insurance companies, especially. I don't think I can call it networking, but this is kind of what you're doing. So you, you're joining them to do their business. You, you become their preferred um, installer. Nothing wrong with it, but be careful. Uh, make sure you understand the program, make sure you understand the requirements and so on. For bigger players, you almost want to build a department that manages you know, MRP programs, BNI programs, pretty much someone who goes out and constantly wines and dines people and makes sure understands, you know, what it requires from them and applies for new programs and just manages those relationships because this is a relationship. You, you don't have to pay commissions per se. This is why I put it in a network and you sign up, you work with someone. It's just like working for, for a big player like you know if you have a good builder you know he might only do 10 jobs a year but it, it could be hundred thousand dollar jobs and if you have a good relationship with that builder you know that's your network in that sense network is your net worth so this is part one i'm gonna upload part two directly to roofing school this is exactly what i do on a regular basis i talk to my companies in the roofing school we have hundreds of companies and we discuss their marketing strategy it varies from state to state it varies how long you've been in business some of these things on the board are not suitable for smaller companies some not suitable for very big companies i just did not want to do 60 minute videos you don't have attention span for it you will watch 10 minutes you will drop out so i wanted to make 20 minute video and then for those who really want to learn jump on a zoom call with me let's come up with your strategy for your business if you have any questions i will answer every single question about this topic in comments below just all my information is there how to contact me how to talk to me and i will answer your questions comment away give it a like if you like this content and you want me to make more of it